High folklore. Um, uh, folks, lores. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I looked this one out for a while. This is one of the first run Scarab series ones. Uh, it's the only one I put a really big decal in with an epoxied in uh, Scarab Beetle in the not single cutout part of the base, you know. I think it needs a bloody good setup though. So it's just a. Uh, um It's a good setup. The strings, the strings look like they're a little high, and there's not much travel in there. So I might need truss rod adjustment first. If not, then we'll go and investigate. So let's go and do it, shall we? <laughs> so going handheld for this quick rundown of this little blighter yes it is a gas ba gas base sorry can't even see the make of my own bases correctly a gas base uh, scarab series one and this was one of the first runs and it was the only one that i did binding on as you can see the edges is binding on it there's no comfort carve in there because it's kind of narrow bodied small bodied yeah, so the body is oak. That's why those stark lines are there in the grain. And the finish on it, after grain filled and uh, sanded and sealed, was a 2K poly polyurethane. Actually, what I did was I left the grain simply unfilled so I'd get pit marks all over the place. I don't know if you'd see that. Really accentuates the green, looks terrific. Yeah, uh, as you can see, the pickups are Seymour Duncan double humbucker pickups. Yes, yeah, kind of musicman style. And uh, the good thing about these is that uh, I put threaded inserts in for the screws and springs as well for the pickup. I might change it to foam, I might not. The controls there are Avalon tops, black, as you can see there. That, those switches are for series parallel mode. Look at the state of that bridge. I'm going to have to clean that. Series parallel for each pickup. That's the neck pickup. That's in series. That's parallel. And the bridge, series, parallel. The bridge itself is a vintage oversized musicman style bridge which is nice you know and the truss rod adjustment is at the top by the way so that's the body the neck is a 21 fret neck which is pretty standard and as you can see there's a special feature in there that is a steampunk scarab beetle embedded in epoxy with trim and uh, fashion accessories, as it were. So, as I'm saying, 21 fret neck, the fingerboard is maple, the neck itself is maple, and the dot inlays are, uh, were filled with ebony and, and epoxy, and I just sanded it all down. The frets are jumbo frets, and as we go up to the tuners, these are vintage fender tuners, and with the Vintage string tree as well. So there you go. That's the rundown. Okay, let's go and get this set up because uh, you know it's not playing too good right now. I'm not very happy with it. I want to see what's going on. Awesome. Okay then, let's go and uh, sort this fella out. Right? It's. I know it's not playing correctly. I just played it. 
So, okay, we're going to check neck relief first. Capo on just behind the first fret. Yeah. I'm going to take my, as you probably well know by now, 12 thou feeler gauge and lift the base up like that. I'm going to put my finger on the 17th fret and I want 12 thousandths of an inch at the 7th fret. Oh my god. Yeah, that's falling through. That's falling right the way through. So, Buster here has a bent neck, too much backbone. The truss rod needs to be tightened and that's why I'm having to adjust the string height way down the, the saddles are going way down near near the ground, well, not really near, there's plenty of room there, but rather than setting the strings all the way down at the, at the saddle, we need to straighten the neck, that's what we need to do. So I'm going to go straighten the neck, right back. So what I've done here is I've slackened off the, two, the A and the D. So I can get access to the truss rod here. Four millimeter wrench, Allen wrench here, and I'm going to tighten this. Oh yeah, that's kind of slack. So I'm going to give it like nearly a quarter of a turn. Okay, I'm going to put the strings back. Tune them up to pitch. I hate this part because <laughs> I always do this too well. That's it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I do um, about eight turns to slacken it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, that's pretty much in tune. Needs to be there or thereabouts. So you've got the correct tension on. Depends what you're tuning to as well, you know. But anyway, let's go and see what that did. Once again, the base up. Finger on the 17th fret here. And already I can see by eye it looks better. But it does need tightened a little more. Okay? So, it's just rinse and repeat, really. Take capo off. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift that out, put it behind there. Lift that out, put it behind there. And I'm going to give it about a quarter turn. And a little bit more than that, I think. Okay. And back of the strings. And there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's good enough. Here, the strings start to rattle, and that's because I had to lower the saddles. Let's see what we've got now. Once again, he's picking the bass up. Finger on the 17th fret. Let me see what the 7th is like now. And that is. Bang on. I wouldn't touch that. Now, let's see. Yeah. Now that string's too low. <laughs> but let's go and measure the string height. I think I think that's about it for the. Let me che just check the treble side. This is hard to do on the camera. Probably won't be able to see it. That's great, actually. Yeah. Just barely slips through. Yeah. Not touching that now. That's good. Let's go and check string height. Okay, string height. Now, what I like for string height is 5 sixty-fourths at the 17th fret. So I'm going to be using this uh, little luthier's rule here. 
pretty cheap to pick up and they're pretty accurate so yeah you should go ahead and do it so what I'm going to do is pick the base up like this on about the 17th fret and measure this now I might have to bring in my magnifier here 464th that's low I'm getting some very slight string buzz up there so I'm gonna have to bring these up a little bit probably about a half a turn I would say for this which is good you know that's good that's bang on that's like 564 so let's check the D very slightly low too and that's not even that low so a quarter turn for the D string here I'm making these all even of course because the strings have to follow the radius of the neck so let's have a look at that 564 nearly I'm just off on that side slightly so I'm going to bring that up a little bit the A string is bang on I don't even need to touch that and the E is a little high so I'm going to bring that down slightly about half a turn hmm this is crooked let me try it now 564s okay perfect so the strings are set and uh, let's see how it feels Yeah, it feels good. Okay. Next, it's intonation for the nation, as Dave from Dave's World of Fun Stuff would say. So let's go and do the intonation. Okay, for the first time ever, I'm going to try and get intonation all in the one shot here. I have a little practice amp up here, a Boss Katana Mini. Superb bench amp. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, right here, I have a tuner, a digital tuner connected to it. And so I'm going to switch the digital tuner on. And you see that initializing. Let's see what I've got by ear. Very slightly sharp. So, intonation. When I hit the G, that's in tune. When I hit the octave, it should be in tune. Very, very, very slightly sharp. By one notch. Harmonic is bang on. I would not touch that. If it's sharp, that means the string is too short and you need to lengthen the string. And that means pulling back the saddle. So I'm going to pull it back very slightly. Screwdriver, screw in here, and pull the saddle back very slightly. So I'm tuned there. I'm not touching that, that's good. Intonation is, you can't get perfect intonation. You just can't do it, it's, it's not possible. Ah, uh, but you think you're very close. Okay. That's nearly there. Slightly flat. Now that flat means the string's too long. 
I need to shorten the string. So I'll let this one out a little bit. Just a little. Make sure it's in tune still. Perfect. Oh, bang on. The A. That's good. Don't need to touch it, so I've obviously set this up before. <laughs> I know that's sharp. Okay. Get a line through the string. Let me just pull this back a little bit. Go in here. Pull back the E. Intonated. Perfect. Now, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm going to check the height of the pickups. Now, if I press down on the, in this case, the 22nd fret, I should be able to get a 4mm range just under there, and I can. And here, yep. Here, that's good. And here, doing with coming up a little bit. I'm just going to bring it up very slightly on the bridge side. That's good. Yep. Okay. I think this gets our set up. Now we're going to go play it. See what we get. Brilliant. Yeah, so the first thing I'm going to check is, uh, oh, it works, you know. It's so the bass works, um, yeah. <laughs> Intonation sounds good. Good way to check intonation is play some chords really up here that you know the root for, like that's in A major seventh, I think. Uh, play that. should be the same. So that's pretty well set up. It's better. Not quite there, but it's better. So yeah. That's all good. So, Let's run through the controls. Okay, I'll put it into both pickups that are in parallel here. I'll put it on back pickup only. You get. Quite a thin sound. Put the back pickup only in the series. thicker sound, a louder and thicker sound, but it's still kind of thin, right? So I'll put both pickups on, back pickup in series, the 
neck back up in parallel and you get chunkier both pickups in series now you'll get hear that difference Beefier sound it sounds more like a fender when you do that. Now, if I put the back pickup off completely, put the, the neck pickup on in parallel, right up there, you'll get a much more of a P bass sound. If I take the treble down, the treble's only halfway up, but take the treble down a bit, put the mid up, treble down a bit, you'll get. And you play some funky stuff on it, you know. Sort of stuff like that, you know. Really cool. Depends what you like. But anyway, yeah. The bass is set up. Um, go back to that. Put that up there. Put that one. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good for... Too much bass on that. Let's back this off a bit. Put this up a bit. as well, you know. Don't need effects for that. So, nice and easy to tap. Everything's set up great. So, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Hope you enjoyed this little setup uh, episode. And you know what? I'll be back with some nice, interesting stuff, including probably a few shorts of the latest build I'm doing right now. You know, like filing threats and stuff. Can't wait. So exciting. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy the content on this channel, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notifications of any other uploads I'm going to do, any videos I'm going to do, be doing. And it uh, just remains for me to say, stay safe, be good, and catch you next time. Cheers, folks. Bye-bye.